Right, I just got back from seeing um, Star Trek Into Darkness, and it's, it's a fantastic film. I, I really, really enjoyed this film. Um, to let you know, this video is going to be full of spoilers. So, um, so I, I, I need to, you know, get what I what I've seen. I, I need to get it out, you know. So, I, so this one's going to be. Full of spoilers, so if you haven't seen it or planning to see it, watch this review after you've seen the film. Alright, so alright then, this. Alright, let's move on. Um, it opens with, if you remember, I think it was a couple of months ago. I can't remember what what film. Um, that they're shown um, a fourteen minutes. Preview. I, I think it was the, the Hobbit. I think I can't remember. That they show like um, 14, 15 minutes preview of Star Trek Into Darkness, uh, and that was the actual opening of the film. You know, it's, it ended with that preview. Ended with um, Spark in, in the volcano, and it just stopped there. Well, it, it, it carries on from there, obviously. Um, um, Kirk. He's like the captain of USS Enterprise, and he saves him. Um, and Spock is like, you know, annoyed because um, Kirk um, basically, um, you know, ignored Starfleet, or you know, the, the rules to, um, to see, they're not supposed to um, let uh, species who are not a fans as they are to you know see them you know say like um I'll, I'll give you an example like um a planet as you know a really a fans technology and you know, everything's a fans and then another planet is you know pretty much like the stone age kind of thing you know nothing about the um, technology or what whatever the rules of Starfleet is to, uh, the, you know, the ship or, you know, the planet itself, you know, not supposed to have, you know, their lower species to see them. Because otherwise it will, you know, change their, you know, destiny kind of thing, all, all that stuff. That, that's what, you know, that's the ba basic thing of the opening. Um, so it saves him. It, Saves Spock, and we, we're getting back to uh, Earth, and this is where we see um, Noel Clark. You know, he played uh, Mickey Smith from Doctor Who. He, his role in this film is more of um, a small role. It, it's look like what he does in this film advances the story. It, it's what kicks you know kicks the story off. So, his character is small but relevant to the story. Um, what happened is we, we see him and his wife going to a hospital. Um, we, we see they have a daughter and who's you know dying. You know, it's, but they don't they didn't really explain what she's dying from or what happened to her. Because it, it, it was thought you know full of um. No, no dialogue. It's just, it's just like you know, just music. So we don't know why she, the daughter's dying or what happened, what, and whatever happened to her. So we don't really know what happened, you know. And then this upset, they look like upset, you know, because it's their daughter kind of thing. Um, and, and this is where um, John Housen, you know, played by um, Benedict Cumberbatch, um, comes in. And he, he tell basically he just tells him, I can save your daughter if you do this. So this is what um So basically what he's saying is I can save your daughter but you need to do this in order for me to save you know, you know like um a compromise kind of thing. Um So that's what he does, you know. So um 
Harrison gave gives him his blood. So, so, well, I, I, why the blood is important, I'll get into the story, because that's, it explains later in the story. For, for me, it's just, he gives him blood, and he saves the daughter, I think, because it didn't really um, give any indication that she's survived. But I, I think she survives, you know, because um, it's some sort of um, special blood, which I'll get into later, like I said. Um, but what the man, what Noel, Clive's character, has to do in order to, you know, for him to do that, he has to do go into one of those um, Starfleet, you know, places, you know, a hard, hard cove, sort so, of so place so, you know, where. Um, you know, Starfleet operates, you know, little, you know, um, departments, so. What he has to do, he go in, basically, you know, blow up the place. What well, his life as well, because he, he's one, you know, the eye of the storm, you know, he's the one has to designate the bomb, bomb ring, which Hosen gave him. Um, it, it puts it in the glass of water, so it um, accelerates the um, you know the growth of the bomb and it explodes the place. Um, then that from, from that um, Starfleet decided to um, bring in all the captains and the first officers. That's you know like um, not not like the situation demands it. So that that's what happens. That they all collect all the captains and they're First officers. Um, before we get into that, um, Kirk and Spock goes into um, a meeting with um, Pike. If you remember the first film, um, so of, so of what happened in you know, the opening that um, Kirk ignored, you know, Starfleet's rules and uh, basically um, demoted him. It, it is not the captain of Enterprise anymore, and Spark has been dismissed to another um, ship. It's called um, USS Black Barbara or something like that. Um, and then Pike gains the. Um, he becomes captain of Enterprise, and he wants Kirk to become. First officer, and that's where we get into the um, the meeting. That's that's why he's there because he was the first officer. Um, so they have this meeting, or you know, explaining what happened. In, cause it, that place where it exploded, it was in London. So um, they they you know, come together to you know basically assess the um, situation and what what they they need to do, and. Um, and this is where Hosen comes in again to um, see. Basically, this group, you, you know, come together. It was a, a trap. So um, that's what Hosen wanted them to do. So he can kill them all in one go. Um, obviously, Kirk, Spock, and the um, Admiral survives. But Poet dies in this one. And it's sort of, um, you know, obviously. He made Kirk really, really angry because he, he was his close friend. He, he's the one who's got in into Starfleet. If you remember the first film, um, so he, obviously it feels you know angry. So he, he sort of wants to avenge him. So that's what he does. He asks uh, the Admiral for um, for him to be reinstated into you know become captain again, Enterprise, and he wants. Um, Spock's become his first officer again, so that's that's this bit is where he's really the film really kicks off. Um, um, that more game. So we we well, we find out that um, Harrison is as you know fled, using transporter to um, Kronos. It's where um, Klingons. Home planet. So that Kirk and you no know, Spock, the ones going to you know, that place and just um, get him basically. Um, the Admiral gave gives them 
this um, set of torpedoes. So the, the, this their instruction was to go to the you know the line where not just the, the Klingon you know space and they're not the caught the neutral line. So they, they don't want them to make walks. If I go across and the Klingons are aware, they will start at lock up or at war kind of thing. They don't want to do that. So they go into the line and basically fire their torpedoes into the, um, the spot where housing is. Uh, and then um, uh, Kirk I mean, uh, and the, the Enterprise, they go up to them um, in the the line and he goes in a, th this is where all, it all kicks off you know it's um the housing comes in again it it, it saves them for some reason it, it takes back into the um, you know the enterprise you know the holding area you, you see it in the trailers um and there was the major major twist I mean, I, I have not seen this, uh, the original films, the, the second one, the, the Wrath of Khan, I have not seen it, but I am aware that of Khan and, you know, or, or, or what, what, the basic, what, what happened in that film. I, I'm aware, because I, I, I've been reading stuff, you know. Uh, to be honest, this film makes me want to see that film, but I'll get into that later. Um, the major twist is... John Housen is a fake identity, uh, you know, of this person. His real name is, uh, uh, I'm sure you know what he is, um, his name is, is Khan. When I, when, I, when, I, when I watched that bit, my mouth was open, I was like, uh, 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 I knew that he, he's, he's Khan, isn't he? he's going to be Khan. That he is, you know, just, uh, that was the twist. One of the best twists I've seen, man. Um, so I, I don't know how similar it is to the um, Wrath of the Khan. So I'm not seeing it. So I can't really say if it's similar or not. So I probably will. I'm definitely gonna see. I can get that film and watch it if it's, and see if it's similar. Anyway, um, um, Khan tells them about. Why he's doing it, and he, he gives them them coordinates to um, this place where the reason why he's doing this. So that um, Kirk investigates, obviously, because it, it feels you know it some bit feels weird about it because it, it, it surrenders so easily, and he feels you know some bits off. So he investigates, um, but and then the surprise and there's another twist. All these torpedoes are full of um, cryonokinetic tubes. You know, where people go in and they freeze them, you know, to preserve them. It, all their tube, you know, um, torpedoes was full of people, men, women, you know, whatever. And it was revealed that it, the people in the torpedoes was um, Khan's crew but and it's fun though so um so you, you get all, all this um realization of you know people in these torpedoes and why why are they that why are we in there and then the find out that um the admiral you know you you basically gives them the plan early in the film was the one who's responsible who, you know, to release Khan, because he, he wanted to use him to help Starfleet, but he sort of backfired. Um, so he's, well, basically, the Admiral, with his um, starship, he comes to the Enterprise and, you know, pretty much gives them the choice, give us Khan or be destroyed. So I, I've said the three, you know, because they're, they, they, they want to get to Earth, because they said they was going to get Khan to Earth, to, you know, to pay for what he's done. So they obviously get into this fight, and then at warp speed, you know, they, you know star battles and all that stuff. Um, 
But that's not, you know, pretty much the, you know, had the whole film. And then, the, um, the, the Enterprise gets damaged, obviously, because it, their ship is not, you know, faster, stronger, has loads of weapons. And, um, their warp drive, I think, um, gets damaged. Um, which obviously needs to be, you know, corrected. You know, they're in a in that spot where the engine is. So it's something's broken. So it needs someone to go in there to, um, you know, sort of fix it. But it's hard to get into it. So you need some like um, radiation suit to go in it. So otherwise, you'll just, you know, die from radiation. Um. Kirk goes in without this, you know, right, the, the um, radiation suit. He goes in and um, he, he, he fixes the, the, the warp drive and fixes the, um, you know, warp speed or, or the engine and the power. Um, but he dies. Captain Kirk, he, he dies. Or does he? I'll get into that later. But he dies. He, I, I think this scene was the most emotional scene of the entire film. I, I, I was sat there. I was like, no, it was, it was quiet. You know, I was like, um, I, I personally, I just can't believe that he died. Cause you know, you you don't kill a main character off. Well, I, I suppose you do some kind of stories, but you know. You know, like, for, uh, speaking from the original series, he, he survives, you know, everything, you know, all, all the episodes, that, that they all still survive and everything, you, that kind of character. But uh, I, I suppose I can stand why they killed him off. Um, so, you know, to gain um, emotional into the story. Um, well, talking about. Well, that wants to find out he's dead and he's got into the, the medical bay. Um, uh, um, just trying to, to remember. Um, calm. In his other ship, asked for the um, his crew to be transported to his well, his ship. Um, that they do, but that sort of um, surprised him with that taking the. The crew out of the torpedoes and pretty much arming it. So once the torpedoes got into the um, starship, they set it to detonate and they basically explode the um, starship. So um, now once they find out about um, you know Kurt being you know being dead and. Um, and Spock, I, I mean, Spock, he, 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 he can, he can feel his pain. Uh, uh, he, he, Vulcans don't, you know, feel emotions, you, you know, the Vulcans. Um, but in that scene, he could feel his pain. Because you can see that Kirk and Spock are the really good friends. You can, you can, you can see his pain. In that scene, it's, it's, it's very sad. Um, obviously, um, if you remember, is um, Khan's blood. See, it, um, way back in the when he's got first cut caught, um, Bones, the um, the doctor, took his blood, and he sort of um, tested, you know, Lord, what was sort of superhuman. So you you say. So Investigates its blood to you know fall down the reason why. Um, so it tests it on its the um, dead animal, I think, or some sort. Um, but it, you, you used to be alive, I'll put that. It, uh, it, it looks like a hedgehog, but you know, I can't. so it, it put some blood in it, and then and that was like you know, in the middle of the film, and then towards the end, it finds that he was. He was coming back to life, so they what they asked, you know, Spock. He was he's running after um, 
can't it? He crashed the ship. The you know the ship. He crashed into the um you know, the sitter. You know, if you see in the trailer it's the crashing that was the ship that was calm was it? not the not the Enterprise. So when I first saw the trailer I thought it was Enterprise but it wasn't it was the other ship. Um Bones asks, you know, Sparks to get to get Khan alive because he needs his blood. So that they can do a transfusion to you know into Kirk to save his life. <sighs> it's, it's, it's just a good film. I, I, honestly, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. I, I really got into it. Um, I, I, can't, I, I pretty much spoiled the, spoiled the movie. If you have watched it before the film, I, I, I didn't warn you. Um, that was m most of the spoilers. Um, it was, it was just a good film. I really enjoyed. I, I can't really say how much I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it I, I can't, it's difficult for me to say. Is it is it better than Iron Man Three or is Iron Man Three better? That the, oh, it's hard now. Um, that that the neck and neck. I, I can't I can't say who's better than that. I can't because they both they both has good. Um, fantastic qualities to e to each other. No, all, all, all the qualities that Iron Man Three has that makes the film so good. Uh, it, it's good on on his own. The same with Star Trek, and it's it's hard to say which is better. And, you know, which is crap. But it's hard. But I, I, I I'm going to say you know, the boat neck and neck. So I can't. I, I'll wait to you know because there's. Um, there's Fast and the Furious coming out. Um, Man of Steel, you know. I mean, that's why I, I can't really say. But from what I think, Man of Steel, I'm I'm hoping Man of Steel is going to take the first, no, number one spot. But but we'll see. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, but the film Star Trek Into Darkness. Is, I, I I can say. I did think he was better than the first one. I can say that he was definitely better than the first one. Um, no, don't get me wrong. The first one, it's you know, it's brilliant. It is like Iron Man, the first one and the third one. Iron Man three, what well, definitely better than number two, but it's sort of better than number one. But number one has something that makes it so great. And it's just, you know it's difficult to say Iron Man one is better than number three. It, it's, it's 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 complicated, but it, it's like that. Number two is better than number one, but I sort of like number one. But you know, for, um, personal reasons. Because it's, it, I, I I've never seen the um, the films like I said before. I've never seen the the original series. I've never seen um, the Next Generation. I, I've only seen. Enterprise, um, the first film, well, you know the reboot. So that's what I sort of um really like the first film because it's you know because it was my first Star Trek film. So um, so I, I really enjoyed the first one, but I really really enjoyed the second one. So the they're both fantastic in, in their own way. Um, but I can't think of anything else. Um. Oh, I, 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 um, I can really say it's just, I definitely recommend you to go and see this film. You know, it's just, just, just go and see the film. You know, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I, I mean, there's some blockbusters, you know, but starting from Iron Man 3, it's off a great start. I mean, we've got Fast and Furious, it's coming, I think it's next week in the UK. Um, After Earth, Will Smith and his son, Jaden Smith. Um, what else? We've got Man of Steel, we've got Pacific Rim, Wolverine. Right, and then we, later on in the year, we've got Daughter, um, The Hunger Games, you know, Catching Fire. That's in November. Uh, and then, finally, The Hobbit, the, the sequel to Hobbit, in um, December. But uh, the, the movie is up 2013, it's up for, 
off a great start. You know, Iron Man 3, fantastic. Star Trek Into Darkness, fantastic. So, um, so next week, no, I, I think it's next week in the UK, um, Fast and the Furious 6 comes out, which I'm going to definitely go and see because I really like that franchise. Um, uh, I've seen, uh, let me talk about the trailers. I mean, I, I don't know what it's like, but not in um, London or Manchester, or I, I'm not sure what that. But um, Odin or, or Seamold, listen, please show the recent Man of Steel trailer. I'm not fucking joking. Right. So, from the trailer I've seen, the Man of Steel, it was the, um, the second one. I mean, they've the released the recent one, the third one, and you have not shown it at all. I'm not very happy with that. Oh, what was that? Oh, the Warner Brothers logo comes, the DC Comics logo comes, and then sign up, the, the company is, um, Christopher Nolan owns, that comes off. And then I see this clock in the, under the water, you know, floating, and it, all the fire. And I see, what, oh, what, 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 roll back there. That isn't the reason, Tyler. You, you've done it again. You, you haven't shown the recent one. What's wrong with you? Oh, oh, I, I, I think I've seen tweets from, you know, people living in the UK who've seen the recent trailer. In the cinema. Why is not showing in Birmingham? I mean, it, it only didn't show the old one. Same old show, the older one. Why? Tell me, why? But anyway, look, there's nothing I can do. It's, I was just, you know, sort of. It, I, I enjoyed it, but I was just. I wish I'd seen the recent trailer on the big screen. So, you know, it's one with Superman punching and Sar saying, you know, I will find him. You know, I want to see that on the fucking cinema. Okay. So, next. Film, I'm, I'm saying Fast and the Furious. I want to see that trailer on the big screen. Okay, uh, I, I'm the Odin will see will probably won't watch this video, but you know, still show it. Right then, um, what else did the show? Um, Fast and the Furious Six, um, After Earth. That's about it, really. No, I, I was surprised that it didn't show Pacific Rim. It sort of showed it, showed it in, in, in a form of at first, you know, Odin at first, but they didn't really show the proper trailer. But, you, you, but, um, I was disappointed about that Man of Steel, man. What, what can you do? Um, that there, there is one thing. I, I, I'm not sure if it's happened in the, um, the Wrath of Khan. So, I, I, I'm sure, I, 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 no, I, I know Spock dies in the Wrath of Khan. So, I, I think in this film, it's sort of um, reversal roles. But no, in that film, Spock dies and Kirk gets angry. But in this film, um, Kirk dies and Spock gets angry. And he shows out Khan. You, you know, really angry, shouting out, you know, Khan! Like that. I, I'm sure that happened in the, the Wrath of Khan. That I, I think that's all sort of um, like a nod, like a reference to that film. So yeah, there is that. But uh, um, uh, another thing about this film is the cast. You know, each one of them is you know, gave you know fantastic performances. That I, I thought the the people you really stood out in this film. You know, I think you really stood out is um. James Kirk by Chris Pine, um, Spark, who played by um, Zachary Quinto, um, Song Peg as uh, Song Peg as I can't remember Sky, yeah, that's it, uh, and um, Khan or oh, um, John Housen, no, but you know, it's credit as Khan. Played by Benedict Cumberbatch, those four really stood out for me. They're 
they really gave, you know, performances of their own. The others like, um, so is that one, Under, he played, um, Lurara. Um, John Cho played, um, Zulu. And Anton Yelton who played, um, Chekhov. And, and the others, they're fantastic, you know, um, but those four really stood out for him. It was the performances of each one of them. Each one of them. It's just fantastic. And so it, they really made you get into this, you know, the film. They gripped it into the, the story. That's what fans fantastic those. Are. I mean, you know, fantastic to those, you know. And J.J. Abrams, who directed the film, you know. The fantastic director, I really like his works now, you know, he's, I, I, there's like tons of flares, you know, lens flare, but I, I don't really mind that, you know, I sort of liked it, cause it sort of um, gave a futuristic um, space film, which the film is about, and it, it sort of works with that film, so... With him directing Star Wars, and we're going to see Lens Flare in that film, but... No, that's just like, I wouldn't mind, you know. It, it wouldn't put me off, but, you know... See, Lens Flare is his signature, so... He'll probably, he'll bound to be, you know, in this film, because he, he was in Fringe. You know, made by him, so, well, you know, produced by him. And it's got tons of Lens Flare, you know, it really put me off. I, I I know he put some paper up, but it didn't really bother me. So bring it on, you know, kind of thing. But fantastic, you know. Hats up to the cast, the crew, the director, everyone. You know, it's just it's a fantastic film. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, fantastic. I mean, it's a fantastic film. I, I I'm I, I'm going to end it there. Go and see the film. You will not be disappointed. You know, I wasn't. I, I was. No, the edge of both seats are some scenes, you know, it's just fantastic. So, go and see the film, you'll enjoy it. So, that's it, this review, and um, thank you for watching. And um, if you're um, one of those who watched the review before the film and you're sort of angry, I can only apologise. But I did say at the start that is going to be full of spoilers, so I, I, I apologise anyway. Um, but thank you for watching and bye.